Hello Libra, welcome to your extended reading. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Okay, we're going to look at your person's thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, oops a daisy, and their actions, okay? So, and then we're going to look and see, huh? okay, we have these two, shelf, two decks mixed together from the last, from your basic reading. Okay, so let's see. Your person's thoughts. What are your person's thoughts about you, Libra? World card. They think it's over. They feel as though you are not speaking to them. You have put them in nap time at a very minimum. The world card just says that, you know, they think it's the end, that you want something better. And that would probably be true, especially in a third-party situation. I am going to reiterate here what I usually do on YouTube. Third-party situations can be of somebody who's going to graduate school, who's working full-time. They could have another family from another person that they have to spend time with. So third-party situations just mean that you don't get their undivided commitment that you want. Currently, we see this person, Hanged Man Energy, World Card Energy. They don't know what to do. They actually do not know what to do. I get them wanting to reach out to you. I get them thinking that they would, but they also think those two cards popped out together that you have them blocked. You're not going to answer. The old saying, Elvis has left the building, is very true. They're, how they feel about you, they want to make an offer. They want to make a substantial offer to you. That's an engagement ring when we get the Three of Cups next to it. So your person does not want to give up here. The Ace of Cups. See, there we go. They love you. They love you. You're very valuable to them. Your person feels as though, you know, they're, you are definitely the one for them. That's a desire for the new beginning. But that we're coming in here with this, you know, they want the passion. They want everything that you give them. They want, they want it all. You know, because we get wands energy. So everything about being with you is very sensual, is very sexy, is very sweet. They value you and the Ace of Cups. You know, they want that new beginning. But again, not really coming in with, we saw that as the outcome of your card on the YouTube reading, that they're still not coming in with something more. Okay, so let's see what their intentions are. We have the Two of Cups, okay. So if they're married, the intentions, though, are with you. So the Two of Cups, they intend to try to win you back. There we go, Three of Coins. We get the Ace of Coins, Three of Coins. You're their best friend. You're their lover. You're their soulmate. You're their best friend. So their intentions are to win you back. You know, again, when we get that Friends card with the Ace of Wands, we still get kind of a Friends with Benefits kind of a relationship. They really love you, okay? This person really, like if they were single and ready to mingle, they would absolutely say, you know, no, let's you and I get married. But, you know, right now we don't see divorce cards. We're not seeing the cards that indicate that this person is going to take an action towards you that's going to get you out of that third party. What will their actions be? Seven of Cups, not even knowing what to do, confused, not making a decision, fantasizing about you. The Hierophant card, their actions are to not make a choice. Yeah, I get that. Devil card says that they're going to stay put. They don't know what to do, so I see them. It looks like they're going to stay married. It looks as though they're just not going to make a move, at least in the next six months. They certainly want to walk away from the situation with their third party. Okay, so let's look and see what the energy here is to clarify this. So we see a person who is very stuck, stuck on you, but not willing to make the choices that they need to make to have what they want with you. They really do want to be married to you. Make no mistake. This is not ambivalent in any way in that regard. This person sees you as the one for them. Why is the world card here for this person? The Lady of Faith. They think the world of you. They think that your values, that you're beautiful in every way, that you have faith in life, that you can go forward, that you're going to have faith, that you can find another relationship that's going to be as good as this one. The Hanged Man says that they feel hung out to dry. The Star Fairy, they understand exactly why you want what you want. 
They respect you for that. They think you deserve it. We get the leaving. Oh my God, how funny. I mean, what's well, not funny, but basically you left this person behind. You walked away. You said, you know, hey, does you're really kind of mad here and I don't blame you, you know? So the leaving card is all about you being dissatisfied. You don't have a partnership. You don't have a collaboration here that's working properly. So it just shows that you have walked away. So that's, you know, they've seen it. They've noticed it. They don't think you're coming back. The Ace of Coins. Why is the Ace of Coins here for your person and how they feel towards you? Of two minds. Ooh, they don't know. They do think that they should offer you a ring. Your person does feel as though, you know, you could be the one, but they're they're taking their time. They're distracted by a lot of other people around them. I feel like your person has a lot of responsibilities, and I feel as though that's their escape. They escape into work. They escape into doing things. The speaker of truth, man, they're speaking their truth. They absolutely love you. Absolutely love you. That is the Ace of Cups. They feel as though you are the heart in their heart space. You are the one. The Queen of Laughter. So what we get here with the Queen of Laughter on top of the Sagittarius energy of somebody who likes to come and go, we see somebody who absolutely finds you delightful, you're clever, you're fun, you're sexy. They have a lot of fun with you. They like to laugh with you. They're very, they feel like very... Like they're in a great adventure. Like life is beautiful. The two of you may share songs together. Again, this person's very focused in the in the moment. The two of cups, why is it here? The hero. This person wants to rush in and offer you marriage. Because we have the ace of coins with the three of cups. It's next to the two of cups. So their thought, they are thinking, they are imagining what it would be like to make that offer to you. We see them three, that's profound ace of cups ace of coins and the ace of wands your person's not going to just let go of you three of cups energy is coming in as a remembrance they feel very nostalgic about this relationship their intention is that they don't want this to be a memory they want to come in like a hero we also see that they have been hiding you know we get that they hide their passion for you that they're trying to play it cool that they don't want you to know just how they're feeling. The Seven of Cups is their actions. Why are they not taking an action? Heartless love. So very okay. So I'm going to put the, the other cards out here. So this person's still married. The Hierophant card is their action. The Green Man. They're still very invested in their marriage. Why is the devil card here, the crone? There might be someone in their life that speaks with a lot of authority, like a mother figure. It could be religious beliefs. It, but this person is really showing they're behind you because basically what they've made it about is pleasure and fantasy. And you're not really, they do love you, but what we get here in terms of their actions is they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you how they really feel. They feel as though if they tell you how they really feel, then you're going to have a reasonable expectation that they will make a change. Oh, Libra. And I just don't see that happening for you. Um, I get the Smith. They're going to keep, they're just going to try to stay in their own lane and hope this blows over. But I don't see you being willing. No, you're, li you're over it. You know, I get you feeling like no more BS. Mushrooms keep keep being fed in the dark is usually manure, right? The devil card, the lady of leprechauns. You see this person as someone who likes to have you as a you know as a real novelty love. You feel as though they take off a mask, though. They you feel as though they're fan. You are every fantasy fulfilled, but you don't get the energy that they want to really you know, marry you, and that's what we're looking for here. Lord of the forest, as well as the energy of dreaming. They dream of it. We definitely see them in this dream mode. Lord of the forest, they would love to be with you, but right now, sweets, I'm not really seeing 
the energy of this person taking the kind of action that you need. So again, these readings can change, you know, uh, their energy readings, energy ebbs and flows, changes. But right now, this would be a prediction for the next six months, no longer than six months. But that's what I have for you, Libra. Okay, well, you're going to go on and have a really good life because it shows that you're absolutely determined to do that. But we're also going to look and see what your person likes best about you. What is it that causes them all of these fantasies? Because they, they really, you turn them on. You are something or someone in their life that they really don't. They just are devastated at the loss of you. But it's like they're not telling you anything. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So what does your person like best about you? What does your person like best about you? What does your person like best about you? Okay, at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. They love to fantasize about you. You are a fantasy to them. Okay, Seven of Cups. That's, that's a card of they know they need to make a choice also. They feel as though you're a choice and they haven't made it yet. They like best about you. They see you as their person, their happiness, their joy. They see you as a person, the ship that has arrived in the harbor. They, they see you as the whole, the whole package. They feel that you are, that they should marry you. They definitely feel as though you're the one. Four of Wands, that they really love the fact that you would be an ideal partner for them. The Hierophant energy, they have very traditional beliefs, but this is what they this is what they love best about you. You are absolutely wife material, highly valued. This person sees you as their everything. The two of wands, what we see here is that they what they love about you is that you've made them make a decision. You know, they love the fact that you've stood up, stood your ground. They totally understand why you would make this decision. They love the fact that you're very balanced emotionally. They love the fact that you have the emotional maturity to end that which does not serve you. They love the fact that you're calm, cool, collected, that you don't have a tendency to really fly off the handle. They feel also that you love very deeply, and when you love, you love unconditionally, and you love forever. So your person really is almost like anticipating that you will always love them or have a place in your heart for them. Temperance card, they see was calm, balanced, very a very a good person, a good human being, somebody who does the right thing. They see you also as a person who's very smart, very studious, somebody that knows how to be alone. They also love about you the fact that you make good decisions. And the Two of Swords, they love the fact that you do not really get caught up in a lot of drama, Libra. They see you as a person who tries to ignore the little things, and they love that about you. So let's go ahead and see what we have here in terms of what's hidden. I'm going to look at the, the Hush Tarot deck. So let's see what we have. Let's see. What is it that they're not telling you about seeing you as the one? We get the energy of, let's see, we get the Three of Pentacles reversed. They're really sad. They're thinking that they can never work with you again, that they might not be able to see you again. The Knight of Swords means they're going to come in and talk to you. When we look at, you know, they definitely want to talk to you, the moon card. They're really, within this period of time of six months, not right now, I would say, though, in six weeks, you have this person having a change of heart. We get the king energy, king of swords. They're trying to be cool, calm, and collected, but we also see them feeling an unbearable pain of losing you. I get they're trying to stay calm and cool, but they cannot. They're obsessed with you, devil energy. 
Oh, look at this. Oh my God, the Ten of Wands. They feel so heavy and so burdened here. Look at this. They're protecting you. It's like a kitty cat who's feeling very vulnerable but protecting you in their heart space. You're still there in their moments of being alone. They still have you right here like a kitty protecting protecting that which is theirs, the human that belongs to them. The judgment card. Oh, judgment, clarifying judgment. They know they have to make a decision. They absolutely know that. They love the fact that you did. They respect you for it. We get the queen of swords. They say, there you are, that you're not really talking to them, that you're the queen of swords, that you're very, you're, you're okay. Page of Pentacles says that they are going to reach out to you. They're going to try to have a talk to you, with you. It looks like they love you too much to just let you go very easily. And we get the four of coins. Yep, that's what I said, holding on to you. No matter what, they're still going to try to be, they're still going to try to hold on to friendship or acquaintance with you. This person cannot really fully walk away. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you think of the reading. And, you know, if you have any suggestions or ideas, I'd love to listen to that. Thank you. Bye-bye.